So probably the quickest, easiest way is to take you back to that controller from that video. And this is the UF7C. This is the old version, which has a bunch of aircraft functions. The newest one he has out, which he's selling with his kits that you'd want to get is the UF7R. And the biggest thing is he had to change the programming in this to allow for a set of lights to be both tail lights, brake lights, and turn signals. And that's for the Traxxas Ultimate Hauler, but he basically overhauled this that had boat, airplane, and car functions to make it to where this could do all the other functions of a one light needing to be three things, tail, brake, and turn signal. So once he stripped out that programming, same thing, you have six ports, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And so A and D will be fast strobes that alternate. C and F will be slow strobes that alternate on your emergency mode. And then I think B is for your brakes and E is for your um, headlights. Again, a little, little tweak can happen, but each of my trucks have this in it. So this is my Tennessee Trooper getting restriped, but um, it's got the UF7C in there. And then I just have four blue strobes up front with two headlights on, on each. And then I have reverse lights, brake lights, and then uh, white and blue strobes in the back, which just matches the Tennessee look. Uh, my Florida truck, yeah, it went kind of nuts. I'm from Florida. I'm a Floridian. I can't help it. So we've got uh, a bunch of Raptor looking running lights, uh, some slow blinks, some fast blinks. But again, you're working with six ports. Two fast strobe ports that alternate, two slow ports that alternate in emergency mode, and then a headlight and a brake light. And then this is my uh, TRX-4. Those usually go on my slashes. And then this is my my TRX4 build and it's the exact same thing the exact same controller but then what I did in this one is I drilled holes into the wheel wells because I wanted a blue strobe white strobe blue strobe white strobe and then did it on all sides and I just used some splitters to accomplish that so if I take out should be this one should be able to just plug in a nine volt battery to get this one going you kind of see a again exact same controller just set up that then controls uh, different light functions yeah it's back feeding into the into the esc so let's take that out all right so there's that one I'm trying to plug it one in here sorry just uh it's kind of hard to explain easier just to, to show you real quickly and then get this one in here so right. so again we've got the exact same light controller just looks differently so on this one I've got some a little subtle strobes um, I don't know if it'll show up better if I turn off the main light so maybe that shows up a little bit better got kind of a little subtle strobe right there this one is just a special light I put in again same controller uh, just how you plug in the lights and where you plug them in determines what happens. I didn't want a light bar on that one, so I actually stuck these on the light bar plug. And then, so in this Florida one, got you know one fast stroke pattern and one slow stroke pattern. So uh, your blues and your reds are going together. These are your fast and slow ports, so fast uh, alternating. And then this one again, exact same controller. Got one pair fast, one pair slow. I don't have anything I think hooked up to the slow one on this truck. Where on the uh, Florida one I do. And then the uh, 
Tennessee Wildlife, again, just using those same ports, just using splitters for more lights, and then uh, hooked up that there in the back. So hopefully that at least gives you three completely different uh, setups and options that I'm using on my trucks with the exact same light controller. Again, it's the exact same one that I had in that video as well. So everything that you saw in that video applies to this as well, with the exception of this one will now be able to control um, turn signals and brakes since Dan over at My Truck RC uh, hooked that up. If you don't want the roof bar, then go with maybe one of the body kits and then just order some extra sets of lights. Dan's pretty quick about responding. If you have any questions, just you know, I think it's like info at mytruckrc.com. Hit him up on my Instagram uh, also. He's usually pretty quick to respond. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, this one was a, a little special build. Drilled some holes and then custom did some holes in my, uh, my mirrors to make those work off of that same plug. So, have any questions, give me a shout. Thanks, man. Appreciate you.